And now, the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, oh yeah, it is indeed. The bonfire. We are live on a Monday. Big J Okerson, Dan Soder, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. How you doing, Danny? Hey, buddy. I want you to know that I wish nothing to you. And I wish nothing more. No, is that it? Damn it, I'm nothing more but the best for you both. Can you forget <laughs> about me, Mr. I always want to get to it. It's a song that is, open wide. depending on how old and how white you are, it will trigger something in you. It gets, doesn't get me at all. Other than I think it that gets she, me. I think you she walked blew, in, except for the fact of the accusations that she blew uh, Uncle Joey Dave in Blue, yeah. a movie theater. Would she go down on you in a theater? Like me, would she go down on you in a theater? Oh, oh, I, I, was see, uh, I, I was hoping she was going to say theatre. <laughs> Still have a crush on her. No, you don't. I bet she aged gr- gracefully. No, she looks like a girl who was hot enough, but she would fart and then ruin it. I, I found that endearing. Really? A girl looks like she farts in jeans? <laughs> yeah. That. Some butt stink? <laughs> Jean farts? The oh, worst. Trapped in denim farts? Yeah, you're going to fart in tights. Go ahead. Get it out there in the world. You're a lady. Yeah, but then it just seeps out like a screen door. And I have to remind you. Um, uh, I wish nothing but the best for you both. An older version of me, is she perverted like me? Will she go down on you in a theater? He goes, his response is just, no, I'm just coming by to get my stuff. Why are you asking these questions? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, can I get my... <laughs> <laughs> hey, can, I get my, can I get out my cut it? Can I get all my cut it out merch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my where, uh, damn? What's the name of the puppet? I'm the fucking wood, do- wood chip wood Woody Chipper. Uh, I'm with the bullwinkle. He goes. I just came here for my bullwinkle. Uh, my bullwinkle puppet. Uh, oh hey, look! I've got world. <laughs> so, <laughs> she's all stop. I'm not gonna fuck it. Mister <laughs> <laughs> Woodchuck. He goes back to do it. Come on, Alanis. Come on, Alanis. Come on, baby. Cut I need it you. out. <laughs> so I'm having a domestic dispute. <laughs> so come on, cut it out. Uh, come on, Alanis. Why don't you just give Bullwinkle one more rub on his horns? <laughs> Look, I've got the world. <laughs> I've got wood. Get out of here. I hope that new girl goes down on you in a theater. <laughs> in a theater. In a theater. Uh, well, we're too early for Ben and Deb, but I want to, I mean, I guess I'll start it off. Go ahead, start we got to do some. Apology day on the bonfire. I, don't, I mean, we can have a conversation about this, but I want to apologize because Ben, Orange Ben from the Golf Channel, sent out a very nice tweet saying he loved us and thought we were very funny. But Lou, who is dressed to the nines today. Special Agent Witzke. Yeah. What was I saying? <laughs> Zero, do, Agent, do, Agent O.08. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> He's dressed like a like a reservoir dog, <laughs> and you were at a th- you were at a re- you were at a uh, a funeral. Yes, I was. Who died? My friend from high school's father. Okay, finally, so finally. He up in the office. He took too long of a break, and so he goes. I go, who died? And he goes, my friend from high school. And I go, jeez. And as I was getting the Jesus out, he goes, friend from high school's dad. I was like, oh, it's what a wash. Have- who cares? Yeah, it's a peripheral character. That guy's Gary. In Big the whoop. season of your life, he, in the season of your life, he's maybe in two episodes. Yeah. Hi, welcome back to Actor Talk with Dan Soda. Yeah. I like to take a fun approach to acting. Yeah, wasn't did you see Boner's dad once or twice? Did you? I think so. I think Boner's dad picked him up a few times. That's what this guy was. He's Boner's dad. He's yeah. dead. I don't want to say anything bad about him. I'm no, just I'm not going to say anything bad. I'm going to let P. Diddy and the fam say it for me. Is he this close to you? Is he dancing the rain close to you? He's one of those great guys that you just, you got to put yeah. on a suit and go uh, pay your respects and go uh, to mass yeah. and think about uh, Puff Daddy and the lyrics. Uh, in, Jer- uh, in Jersey, all that means is he's he, he never tried to lure you away from your friends into a room with a video camera. <laughs> what a good guy. That's it. Uh, yo, Mr. God Schwartz, rest in peace. Uh, I'm going to miss you. Your barbecues. Your barbecues were so great. Uh. Catch a band mustard and mayo on the burger. Oh, you wear those tiny shorts and your ball back. 
swag would hang out of the bottom. I remember when I would come visit Steve and you would be there with your shirt off. Even though your body wasn't all that great, but it was pretty good for your age, motherfucker. You always uh, ask me how hot it was. Uh, it was never hot enough. You knew a lot about the weather. Luz, uh, turns out Luz just hammered in the parking lot of the memorial service. Just uh, dancing around like that. Uh, I remember coming over your house and we played that little putting machine that we got you that one time for Christmas. Um, well, I'm sorry to hear about your friend's father. But you look great. But Did Lou you have I a nosh? Was there a nosh there? Food? Yeah. No, it was just mess. Oh, Christ I... Christian service. That's white. All right. Snow white. That's Louie white. That is. Not even booze? There's no booze? No. It was wasn't just, even an Irish wake? Just a church. Ugh. That's it. All you the... But you snuck in a little nip, right? <laughs> yeah. Did you pull it out of a flask like you lost, like you lost your fellow detective? That's how you get through these I times. I can't process this right now. Oh, you know, hey, it's just cough medicine, kid. Yeah, don't worry. The second he, the second they handed his boy that flag, I had to go right in my inside pocket. <laughs> his boy is flag. He him... worked at a Raymore Flanagan. <laughs> but they still had gave him like that fancy like the flag. Yeah. It was a throw blanket. <laughs> the, like... Oh, the moving blanket wrapped <laughs> perfectly, wrapped up perfectly. Um, I'm sorry to so, hear that, Lou. But Lou and I were talking about it because Ben tweeted that very nice thing, and we were wondering the authenticity of it because Ben shoots us daggers nil. all the time. I'd say no. I think he does not enjoy us at all. Yeah. Uh, somebody somebody tweeted said, it. They what do you said orange is one did a great word play. They're like, Orange you glad the guys from the bonfire are next to you, <laughs> which is always like I'm a fan of wordplay. And uh and he was like, Those guys are hilarious. It was a nice tweet. But then it's so weird because he just stares at us and I'm like He does not like us. Yeah. But I, I wanted to start But no harm no fact. I like Ben. I have no problem with Ben. Yeah, I think they're great. I think they're great neighbors. I'm glad we moved I in you, I think they back are great together. Yeah. And we're closer. They're never getting rolfed in their studio, drawing our eye. They're never uh, putting like no. press ham against the window. Yep. That way. We are not good neighbors. No, we're the problem. We are definitely the problem. We're having the loud parties. But we're fun. But we are fun. We're more fun. But you want to apologize, too. I do want to apologize. Apologize, yes. Well, I don't even know what happened. I have no I don't apologize reference. for what I said, actually, other than it was just hilarious. It was a misunderstanding. Uh, Justin Lee 360, as we gave it, I, was like, I don't think it matters anymore. I think he's off of Instagram. I don't know. Uh, a couple things going on. The pictures of his kids first, let me just start. His nieces. Okay. Uh, when he finally did respond to what I wrote, which was simply, like I said before, you have kids and... He's like, those aren't my kids. Fuck you and fuck yours. I wish. No. Here's what happened. <laughs> he just goes... And we are threatening to come... Uh, I want to I wanna fight him when you I said go you're to gonna Portland. bite out his cheek. Which, yes, by I the did. way, you find out about your friends when they're very angry, what they would do. Yeah, bite cheek's a big one for me. Yeah, I, I'm a headbutt guy. So Yeah, headbutt's great if you land it. Um, uh, it's all about right on the bridge of the nose. Bridge of the nose, or you can really knock out some front teeth. Oh, yeah, but yeah, I'm tall. Did you ever it, see that headbutt in the... Tequila Tequila Show? No. Find that, Christine. It's one of the most vicious things I've ever seen on a TV show. The blood is so thick and new, it's black. It comes Ooh, out of this guy's mouth. That's right out the vein. It's bad. Is it blue? It's so bad. But um, I'm going to say to Justin Lee 360, what happened? Here's what happened. His comment to Isabella comes below um, a series of things. It's a picture of me, Touray, and Kevin Hart. Okay. Touray Gordon, Kevin Hart, and Montreal Festival. People comment on it. Isabella comments below. She goes, you're not special. Busting my balls. And the guy wrote, you know, several things down. The guy wrote, you know, man, you were an ugly cunt. Tagged Isabella. Here's what's interesting. When the guy finally wrote back, the first thing he wrote was, uh, back to me, was he's like, yeah, you're right, man. And he didn't hear the show. He just goes, yeah, you're right, man. He goes, I thought about it after I did it. And he goes, that is a pretty shitty move. You know, I was like, as a kid, I guess. It's like a 14-year-old kid. Like, yeah, it's right. I go... Yeah, but it's like you attack. He goes, because I'm a big fan of yours, and uh, I didn't want to, didn't mean to offend you or upset you at all. I go, yeah, but it's like you know, it's like my daughter, and you say something like that to my daughter. It's such a weird thing. To, oh no, dude, he's like, oh my god, I have the cold sweats right now. Goes, I'm such a fuck tart. I'm such a goddamn retard. I'm the worst. Oh, no. goes, I'm such a big fan of yours. I already have tickets, like five tickets I bought for my family and my oh. wife to come see you when you come to Portland. Oh no. He's like, I'm so sorry. I'm such an idiot. I'm such a such an idiot. And he just kept going. And I just like wrote back. I was like, dude, I go, trust me. At the end of the day, it's much funnier than it's a misunderstanding. Oh, uh, well, first he off, he goes, I swear to God, he writes, I just saw somebody going at you, man, and I'm such a big fan, and I just retaliated and said something. I'm like, that's fucking hilarious. I stand by everything I said. 
Yeah, Dan's going to fight you. <laughs> yeah. uh, I am. I don't. No, that is what a misunderstanding. And by Bonkers. the way, from his perspective, he's like, yeah, don't fuck with Jay. <laughs> yeah. And then he like checks that the next day. He's like, I haven't been on Instagram. I will while. bite your fucking cheek off. And he's all, what? 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 What is it? That's it's hilarious. Hey, Jason Lee. Hey, it's Dan Soder from the bonfire. I'm uh, I'm pretty sorry about the stuff I said too. I hope you find joy. I understand? There's still a generalization we made that stands. You don't oh. attack people's fucking kids. Yeah. I remember something was so fucking weak. I stand by the morals I said. Yeah, you know what's Not funny? the personal attacks that I made. The, um, we've actually, so we've avoided for sure, like, talking about, like, Trump's, you know, remember his kid was all twitchy the night he got the inauguration? Or well, not the inauguration, the, uh, when he won the election? Yeah. Um, his acceptance speech, what do you call that? His, his winning speech? Or those concession, yeah. Uh, not the concession. Not, the the concession's the other one, I'm trying to think, I don't know. Anyways. His yeah. speech, and his kid was all kind of yeah. like weird next to him. We didn't really go with that. We didn't go with that at all. You know, and like, uh, so we do steer clear of people's kids. Like, Corey Feldman, we've never really delved in to find his fucking Fuck kids. Fuck, no, I don't like want to do that. Yeah, you don't want to show someone's kids. No, so. man, it's, it's, it's the person, I always think it's the person that's being the asshole. Hopefully we're making fun of. Yeah, absolutely. Does he have this headbutt? Except Amber Rose's mom. I apologize to her. But you do look a lot like Zool. <laughs> Zoo. Some things you gotta know. I like my deep fast and my bass and What is... Is there a way to have this not with a fucking... Oh! Is there a way to not have this with a jam? Oh! Headbutt punch combo. Yeah, the guy tries to eat it first. At, this, is a, this is how bad guys want to fuck ooh. Tila Tequila. At the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, Jay brought up a shot. We were talking about headbutts earlier. Where, uh, no, was there a way to get one that doesn't have this? Yeah, I didn't know that that was sick. With that sick music playing? Yo, it's all about to be drop bass, baby, headbutt mouth. Yo, yo, punchy hands all over the teal tequila, busting on your booty drop. She is a neo-Nazi now. Who? Teal tequila. Isn't she... What? Yeah. Talking about neo-Nazism. She actually is a legit neo-Nazi. That's not just like some thing. Yeah, I heard it, but how real could that really be? I don't know. I Isn't don't she like, I mean, she's like... Filipino? Sure. Yeah. You can't be a neo-Nazi in Filipino. They're not going to accept you. Unless you're sucking everybody off. I don't know. Bring it up, though, because she, she's always... She always takes these pictures where she's seek hiling Wait, I really want you to see this headbutt. I mean, I want to see the aftermath they show. I mean, there's this guy, the blood. The blood. Oh, is that my favorite DJ? Is that DJ Moose? Mussolini? Is I don't that DJ know. Moose right don't start up DJ Watergate, then. Oh, oh the lights are blinking. Hey! Is this it? High quality of it. It's all grainy. Yeah. Hoi! Dude, he, he blasts him in the face with his head so hard, and, and his... Bottom two teeth just split wide open, and it's cracked down. It's like jo like the front of his mouth is like split predator open. mouth. Yeah, dude, it's so bad. But he guy, oh, by the way, the guy just eats it. You. This is how drunk they get people on these reality shows. This guy just eats that headbutt and two punches. He's like, "What's up?" His <laughs> he, mouth is just like he's he's pouring still, blood. I'm still yeah. standing here. I'm standing here for tequila, tequila. His mouth pours out blood like the. Remember the uh, when they, remember when uh, the girl in Thriller when she was. Turning in a circle and seeing all the zombies showing up, and one of them opens his <laughs> yeah. mouth, and it's like that yeah. black jelly comes out. It looks just like that. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Like, but he's just hammered. <laughs> now, all we need to do is bring up the thriller video. But thriller, the thriller song to them getting punched is perfect. <laughs> By the way, I love all the tribal tat on the dude's arm. He is oh, so yeah. clearly early 2000s. Oh, yeah. Christine, you know what? Just play this one without the sound. Yeah, we don't need so the sound. Bam! I mean, here's the thing about a headbutt. You got to know you're going to land it. Because I, I, I assume a missed headbutt is... Uh, you feel pretty stupid. Here's the result. They're showing them. They all look like young professional wrestlers. Watching Tila... Oh, that's wow! That's into. a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. Look, see, so he split his whole thing open. Yeah, see? It's crazy. Leading with a headbutt's a fucking risky move, but if, if it pays off... 
oh man, missing a headbutt's gotta be great. <gasps> and you go, get back here. <laughs> so you get to, like, <laughs> yeah. Word of advice, everybody. If you miss your opening headbutt, don't try to recover with a second headbutt. He sees it coming now. <laughs> hey, come here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. 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 Oh, this guy's quick. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna ram you. Is this her dressed up? Is this from her own website? Now this is just Google image. No, I thought somebody probably made that. But no, I know the thing. She's like like hailing Hitler and all that shit. Um, at least he didn't get knocked out. I'll say that about the guy taking the headbutt, the punch. That's a headbutt punch combination. You're not getting knocked out. Hailing Hitler. There's I don't know why I'm just picturing it's giant little Hitler faces falling out of the sky. <laughs> it's hailing, oh, it's hailing Hitler out there. Coming down in the valley, we've got Hitler hail. <laughs> it's it's hailing Hitler it's out there hailing. in Nebraska right now. <laughs> Yeah, what's the thing she said? She's like a, uh, doesn't she kind of agree she's a white supremacist at this point? But didn't she not even hide it? No, no, she's like open about it. I think she's their celebrity spokesperson. She's like, beat it, blacks. She's like, hey, guys, it's Tequila Tequila. If I know anything. That's her website. That's the image. That's her website? Yeah. Oh, that's oh. not helping anybody. You think someone paid her a lot of money to like act like she's a white supremacist who loves Trump? She's uh, not white, right? She's Asian. She's not a white girl. Uh, what do you think? Oh, she's Mexican. Tequila, tequila. tequila. <laughs> <laughs> you beat me right to that. Let me um, think. Tequila? That seems more like a Hispanic. I think she's from the region of Chihuahua. <laughs> Maybe Jalisco. She's from the Bueno. Um, you want to talk about like some real Mexican shit? Jacob and I watched a video of these girls getting ex like uh, getting a demon exercised out of them, and it's like. Oh, yeah. It is. That's the best language for that, too. Christine, you know, yeah. Yeah. Here, here, here it is. Here it is. It's on the mirror. It says, screaming teenage girls exercise live while, while being possessed. It's live from exorcism. It's Mexico City. Ay, 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 ay. Hola, 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 hola. El diablo. Here it is. And they just start screaming. You, I mean, I don't speak Spanish, so... It's in like a school gym. It's time for you to cross over. Is he in your house anymore? She's in your home. He's there. <laughs> this is your home. Hey, get out of here. We tried everything. Exorcism, <laughs> Nigel <laughs> Bach. Get out of my house, <laughs> fucking whore. <laughs> This is it. Así es, por jugar el Charlie Charlie. Estas adolescentes just, It's women holding it down other girls and they're just yelling. It looks like they're just having like a scream. You can cut the Kalima. This is this is much better music than the, the actual news report. Yes. This looks way cooler. Okay. Santana and a fucking demon. exorcism. Let's do our own voice. Let's do our own voice over it too. But this is okay, the okay now demon. Time to get out of this little girl body. This is the Wizard of Oz and the Wall, but it's Santana with exorcisms. If you sync it up by the third scream, oh, you're like it perfect. is supernatural. <laughs> you need to leave. <laughs> no. Not yet. Demon, I want you to get out of his little girl. Who is yeah, Antonio Banderas as the demon? <laughs> yeah. I have control of her body. <laughs> I will do nothing except be a Rory. The power of Christ can bail you. No. Not yet. <laughs> Screaming teenage girls go crazy for Mexican demons. <laughs> <laughs> It's Carlos Santana <laughs> in a Mexican ghost story. Demon no. be gone. Get Demon in. be gone. Be gone. Demon no be gone. Your home. It's time for you to cross over. Cross over. This, no, this is no longer your casa. I just always, uh, I believed that shit when I was a kid. I was like, that shit's Possession? real. Yeah, I thought that shit was real. Did was horror movies ter fucking t terrify me? Blow your mind? Then? Blow my mind. I'm so bad with horror movies. I've tried to tell you this before. You just never listen. Why? Because you still think that possession's real? No, but I'm, you, you know, scared cat. Uh, my favorite movies are the ones where someone goes, I'm going to prove possession is real or not right now by filming myself get possessed. And I'm but like, how perfect. <laughs> I'll watch that for three hours. Like, you got a three hour movie. Go, dum dum. I love it. Yeah, go We're ahead. a GoPro. <laughs> I don't believe in it at all, but I would be I don't believe afraid in it to, anymore. I would be afraid to welcome it 
in that fashion. Dude, if you came in here possessed, I'd be like, Jay, you're real hard to do. Yeah, all right, demon. If you're real, you pussy queef, then why don't you fucking possess me right now? Oh, if it's real, oh, yeah, 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 no. yeah. You're like, I just want to talk about politics. I'm like, no, you are a demon. You're really making this unfun. Dan, better language in front of the ladies. Please, also, let's discuss tax law. <laughs> Two hours of nothing but tax law. No Ridge Order music. Tila Tequila, by the way, sorry to change news. This is coming in for the Weather Center. Tila Tequila hails Hitler and brags about being a white supremacist. Bonfire News. Is she or is she not a white supremacist? Can you be a white supremacist well, without actually being white? In Tila Tequila's verified account, she has a tweet. So if you read between the lines, I'm, it says, I am a white supremacist. Um, I mean, there it is. A supremacist. Supremacist. And then is she also right? tweeted. Who's right about that? I'm gonna, is she right or am I right? And then on November 21st. Supremacist. Yeah. Yeah. I said white supremacist. She wrote, I'm going to feel sorry for our enemies once I start working for the Trump administration. I'm trying to process the deal, deal tequila smarter than me. <laughs> well, here's the deal. <laughs> she probably had a good elementary school, decent middle school. With, now, on, on Tila Tequila, the For the Love of Tila, whatever the show for called? The love, yeah. For the love of Asian pussy. Where like, she hey, fucked, you can't do that. Where she was willing to fuck uh, guys and girls. Any black people in there whatsoever? Ooh. Or ethnics? This is on the list. What an interesting bonfire uh, special report. <laughs> we look back at a show that was forgotten. Yeah. And was there any... Now, where's the evidence here? Is there evidence? Because if she's like, <laughs> there's just a clip she's of her so tiny. Like, if she took big black dick, I guess she's she, making you racist. Well, she used to fuck Sean Merriman. The linebacker from the Chargers, and he's half black. That it. Didn't he smack her around a bunch? Yeah, he beat there her up. You Can you it. find that news story, Jacob? He beat her right into Hitler's arms. <laughs> the one punch. thing Hitler was counting on. It wasn't Hitler. It was a guy with fucking back knee and a fucking white t-shirt. He's like, come <laughs> on to me, baby. <laughs> you want to come over? You can have my party. You, I got a double wide and some decent Rice Krispie treats. <laughs> you want to hear about how whites are the best? <laughs> she goes, here's my relationship. And she just shows like the Harambee. Dragging the kid around. The <laughs> that's what it felt like. This was my relationship. That's what that's what Sean Marion and Tokyo's relationship looked like. The Harambe video. <laughs> Where she goes, except I'm pretty sure Harambe wasn't as fast off the edge. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Don't throw me in the creek part now. I'm pretty sure that Harambe doesn't have closing speed. What? She's Say also it. connected to Will I Am. Will I Am? In 2008. Case against Merriman is closed. This is uh, from 2009. District Attorney f dismissed the reality TV star Tequila, Tila Tequila's accusations. Oh, so it was dismissed that Sean Merriman choked her and threw her to the ground. He was arrested. He doesn't have hands like that. <laughs> yeah, he dropped a lot of interceptions. After a thorough review, so it was. The case was dropped. Oh, yeah, no, I know, I know he didn't get in trouble for that for real. I'm, that, was, that was the joke. Well, BS. Yes, I don't think there's anything joking. I don't find anything funny about joking about. You Tila. don't want to see Tila Tequila get hit. Tila Tequila's past. She made some pretty good porns though. She, uh, when did she do porn? At what? She did two. She did two homemade, self-made porns, but they're graphic. The second one, she's getting some big old dick. Black dude. No. Well, I don't know. We're trying she's to find a white this out. supremacist, Dan. Just recently, I didn't like pickles until I was seventeen. I, I'll be honest. I didn't like black olives until I was an adult. Can I be honest? Still didn't not. even understand coconut. Like coconut when you were a kid. Loved it. Freaky weirdo. <laughs> I used to pleasure myself while eating one. <laughs> oh my god! I want oh the coconut jaws. Oh my god! Is this? Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. Yes. Hold on, pause it. It sounds like it sounds like you're scraping a shed across ice. <laughs> That's how the, it sounded. It sounded like you go to the beginning. That was a like, weird. Yeah, that was a weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <really like. laughs> it sounded like that was a very drag across ice sound. What is she saying? What she's gonna fuck? Play the old black she, people are not. He got the trains to run on time. The economy was never quite flourishing as much as it was. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh God. Her fake, her fake boobs are not oh, good. Pause all this. Is she giving that guy a rimmer? Yeah. She's eating butt on the other one that Jacob brought up. Jacob's, Jacob's private stash. 
Um, that's some, that's, that's a, she, she texted that right to Jacob. Oh, she's I mean, that it. is full on her eating butt. Love it. Love it. Oh, wow. that makes me like her more now. Now I'm on the fence. I, I was going to just run away because of the whole... The white supremacist white thing? White supremacist thing? Well, I'll tell you what she does love is white butthole, because oh she God. is in there. Yeah, you know it's clean, because she wouldn't be licking no brown. Oh, wow. She is... I mean... That's not Teal Tequila. Oh. It's not her. That's not her. This is a porn. It's yeah. another Asian girl. Jacob. Real nice, Jacob. Oh. It says Teal Tequila. That's all it takes for you. <laughs> There's also one of Marilyn Monroe. I don't know how they got the video. Oh, my God. Did you guys know that Cleveland had sex with Lois while Peter watched? <laughs> There's also one of Marge Simpson. I don't know how they got their personal videotapes. I don't like it. I don't like it. I, we got to take Wait, a break. Is anyone's privacy sacred anymore? We got to take a break, but when I come back, I want to show you. You didn't get to watch it, but Bernard Hopkins fought this weekend. I know. And I want to show you what happened. The Philly Executioner, buddy. That's your guy. One of my favorites. No, not one of my favorites. He's a great personality. I love him for the sport because he's in his fifties, I believe. Yeah, yeah he's going to be fifty-two next month. And uh, but he is. Uh, it's pretty awesome. He fought so long. He's just. A, I, I've never been a fan because he's a very, very wisely for his own sanity, very, very defensive, boring boxer. Yeah. Well, we'll come he back. He beat the living shit out of me. Disclaimer. Yeah, we're going to come back and see what happened to. All right, then it's right. the bonfire. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Do you have these in a 13? No? Okay. You can order them and send them to my house uh, two weeks from now? I can go two on, business weeks? I can go on East Bay and actually get them? Right. You can go on East Bay and get them, but they're probably out because they only make three pairs of size 14 ever. <laughs> hey, everyone, it's the bonfire. We're back. It's Monday in Nellyville. Oh. We're getting Nellyville dirty. We're getting we're dirty in Nellyville. We're even bringing in all the St. Lunatics. Oh. Oh. This song has no double entendre we figured out yesterday, by the way. It's just about sneakers. <laughs> It's so funny because... There's no, like, what's he talking about, though? His dick or like, some fucking chick he likes? There's, like, early 80s hip-hop where they're, like... Where they rap about kind of silly stuff sometimes. Like, dancing in the park. And then you're like, oh, that's funny. And then this is early 2000s where you're like... It's just about sneakers. Oh, do Woo Wear is about Woo Wear, the clothing brand. Yeah. You got Woo Wear in there, Lou? Lou Wear? <laughs> is that Lou Wear? Lou's wearing Lou Wear. Lou's wearing Lou Wear now. It's a suit off a dead guy. Mr. Lou Sad. M Mr. Sad. <laughs> Mr. Sad. I spell Woo. D what? What? W U like Wu Tang? It's yeah, it's their clothing line. You never had a pair of Wu Wear jeans or Wu Wear shirts? No. You never heard of Wu Wear? No. Did what? you ever you just whacking off in a dark room to the Ten album? Were you? <laughs> He's just hoping that Eddie Vedder comes out with his own line of flannel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just got this new Eddie shirt. <laughs> breathe in this shirt breeze. We're 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 this is the song? No. Welcome back. This isn't Wu Wear. It's not? No. <laughs> By the Wu Tang Clan? There you go. You're saying there's no. No, this is about. That's why there was no clothes for me. Because a tall, skinny guy bought my clothes. Yeah, he was like, this is awesome. He's like, you know, it'd be great if I could really fit three of me in this shirt. <laughs> Make a parachute off. It's what you need. It was a commercial for Wu Tang clothing. Yeah. Wu Wear. I had a Wu Tang chain at one point. Did you? Oh. My friend Dane. Got at the mall, mall kiosk. Dane had. It. My friend Dane Bowserman had a pair of Wu Wear jeans. And I was very jealous because Trish would only let me shop at Target. But did he no wear, Wu Wear at Target? Did he, did he wear the Wu Tang chain, though? Did no. he wear the, the, with the pendant? No. No? Maybe get yourself a nice fucking fake silver herringbone from the mall. Oh, that'd herring be fun. Herringbone. Herringbone. Yeah, that was the... I know we can order them. Do you want that now in your life? I'll make it happen for you. Put a Wu... Uh, see, go look at eBay. Tell me if there's a, if they get a Wu-Tang pendant anymore. I want the giant eagle that Ghostface Killer has on his arm. That falcon thing that he wears. Have you seen that? On no. his wrist? 
Christine, Google that. Ghostface Killer's got this. We're giving her a lot. <laughs> Once, get this song up and then do this. And then uh, also do that. this, but find out where Ghostface Killer is right now. <laughs> no, it's too late. Yeah, I would, I would wear that. I don't think I could wear a... A chain? I couldn't wear a chain, but I could wear... Oh, that's not... He has it on his on his uh, wrist. It's a falcon piece. Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that cool as shit? No. That's cool. No, it's not. You don't know cool. That's cool. He's got a falcon on his wrist. It's not cool. <laughs> that's part of Conan the Barbarian. Is it cool? Pretty cool. Face thinks it's cool. Fuck yeah, Face thinks it's cool, because it is cool. That's what you're getting Eagles fan, too. Well, it's a I'm an Eagles fan. What does that do with anything? That's a trophy eagle. That's not a fucking that's a Philadelphia eagle. This shit's cool as shit. Do you think like, I'm an Eagles fan? I'm a fan of eagles. No, he's just a fan of a bird. The majestic bird. <laughs> I'm a fan of uh I'm a real big fan of gold miners. <laughs> yeah. Especially ones from eighteen forty nine. Oh, fucking that's hilarious. I'm a fan of tiny bears. So <laughs> yeah, I'm a Cubs guy. I'm a Cubs guy. It's always been that way with me. Oh, so. I'm afraid of eating pussy when they're on their period. I'm a Red Wings fan. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Sorry. I grew up a Bruins guy. So I hit my women. <laughs> Um, oh, the, yeah, yeah, there it is, buddy. There's no way I can wear a chain. Have you ever you used to wear a chain? I wore that chain. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, go. Keep going. Forward. I'll show you which one. Get to the... No, no, no. Yeah! Falcon no. piece. <laughs> You'd rather have a... a than a necklace. You'd rather have a falcon wristband. Fuck yes, I would. That's Fuck insanity. yes, I would. That's not insanity. I feel silly in a necklace. That's what it is. It's a Great, necklace. Go up, go up, go up, go up. Call it right there. Call it a chain all oh. you want. The only thing I consider a chain is on a bike. Oh, this thing is iced out. It's only $35. Christine, order it for me right now. That's a necklace. Ladies wear necklaces. It's not a necklace. It's a necklace. Men wear necklaces. No. It is. Ladies wear necklaces. It laces my neck. <laughs> it's a literal term, Dan. Your necklace. It's like on a fucking Wu-Tang tampon. That's for ladies. Yes, look at that falcon piece on your fucking wrist. That shit's badass. Christine, see if we can get Dan for Christmas a falcon piece for his wrist. Oh, I want to be just like Ghostface It's going to be plated. It's gonna oh. be the it's gonna be the cubic zirconia of a fucking a, of wrist falcons. That'd be an honor. I don't care if it's brass. Actually, I'd mean, probably be have you seen Dan? I believe he's a falconer now. <laughs> no, he's just a big <laughs> ghost face killer fan. Does Tony it exist? Is a champion. Is a hood ornament. You're a hood ornament. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my face with that shit, Merc face. You were on my team, but against it. me. Bring up the Bernard Hopkins video while we do all of our jewelry ordering. <laughs> while you order Jay's lady necklace. <laughs> I'm sorry. And Dan's fucking Iron Maiden fucking wristband. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I wanted to get that. Oh, do you get the actual Arabic male holding it? Yeah, I want... It sounds like it. That's just a picture. I want the, it looks like he's wearing it very comfortable. All right, here's the Bernard Hopkins knockout. Who, who did he fight again? Oh, unranked white. There's a dude from Brooklyn. He's actually from New York. Oh. He was like a, or Long Island. I didn't realize. I forgot his name, though. It's not up on the screen. A guy from Brooklyn? Guy from Brooklyn. Oh, shit. Jacob, can you look up who he fought? What open mics does he do? Uh, well, sometimes I heard he does Woodshed. <laughs> he does Legion Bar, Creek. He pops in Union Hall every now and again. Fights guys behind. Smith? What's that? Joe Smith. Joe Smith. Okay. Did yeah. you even is he, a, is he a dead body they found? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you trying not to do your job? His name's Joe Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Joe, Joe Smith Jr. Joe Smith Jr. <laughs> you guys just keep making up shit. Joe Smith Jr. the third. You Joe, can't Jr. He's the third. Joe Smith the 14 millionth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The 14 millionth. Um, How here, do you get that on a jersey? Uh, dude, <laughs> That's why, why you had to go into individual sports. First, here's the knockout from behind seeing the front of Bernard Hopkins. And it's pretty bad, but here's the slow motion. Right there, bam. Goes oh. through the ropes. Oh, Jesus. Now. Here comes the second one. Boom. That wasn't the last knockout? No, that was. This was knockout, but here's the second angle. Watch this. Hits him through the ropes and right to the floor. Look at that. Oh, my God. Damn. Sorry, that was Tilo Tequila coming. Yeah. Is that noise? She's like, put it on again. Put yeah, it on watch it again. Yeah. Out of the ring. Oh, fuck. Out of the ring, you less than a person. 
at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat to see the video of Bernard Hopkins getting knocked out by Joe Smith Jr. He goes right to the fucking floor. What's the aftermath of that? Uh, I don't know. To be the guy that holds his hand out for Bernard Hopkins, we were like, take my hand, Bernard. I looked at the guy he did fall and kind of just moved. He was like, well, I'm not touching this dude. <laughs> Trying to fuck Tila Tequila. He was right? all sweaty. Yes, finally! A black man knocked out of the ring. He <laughs> was just screaming. Well, it's like... um. That's they have, crazy. They have oh, Roy, such hold a on. What's Roy Jones' immediate reaction? Because I love Roy Jones Jr. as a commentator. He's like, oh, I'm hungry. Hold on. Think about just, the fight. Nick's the goal, man. Roy, the pleasure, my man. Got, was just yeah. him falling. Yeah, what's up, he, was that sad to see it on Roy? Is that just boxing? Never mind. Take that down. Yeah, we can't hear that. It's just him falling Roy Jones Jr. around in the hallway. You gotta <laughs> the fuck out, man. That's Roy Jones. Yeah, that was it. That's exactly what he said to HBO. <laughs> the guy goes, his immediate reaction to the Bernard Hopkins knockout. It's just a guy following goes, hey, Roy, 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 hey, Roy. Are you mad? Roy, what's up? Did you see that? Are you frozen, Roy? Bernard? Wait, did you see that? Yeah. You got knocked the fuck out, man. It's always funny to give him the one little piece to it. He goes, what did you say, my friend? He goes, oh, um, uh, what would it like to be in the ring with him? <laughs> yeah. You're trying to all your questions you ever had for that guy in your whole life comes out. You're a god. What was it like? Did you still talk to Antonio Tarver? <laughs> I'm telling you, when there was that uh you almost when, forgot when i sat down low at the sixers game years ago iverson was still playing but they were playing like the uh it was the bucks okay and ray allen was in the bucks for the yeah game, right? i love ray allen ray allen was in the bucks. he was, was a big ray allen fan for some dude, reason they just kept yelling jesus shuttlesworth to him it's great and and he wouldn't acknowledge it and then finally they were like hey jesus hey jesus shuttlesworth jesus jesus shuttlesworth like, this is a character obviously from he got game yeah Hey, Jesus Shellsworth. And then finally he turned around and just kind of gave him like a, almost like a half wave to acknowledge them. And he's like, hey, guys. And they go, what, 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 oh, fuck you, you piece of shit. So he's just like oh, flooding dude. him, just like wailing on him with like insults. Dude, that is, um, my high school basketball team in Colorado was pretty good. We were like, you know, like top five in the state or whatever. You and there's this kid. Were you on the team? No, fuck no. But our games were awesome to go to because you'd go to the JV played before varsity. And me and this, a buddy of mine who's on our football team, JJ, we'd go to the JV games and talk shit to the JV kids because you couldn't get in the varsity kids' heads because they were usually like really, they were good basketball players. Yeah. But the JV kids would always snap. Like you just could get them. Your own team? No, the other team. So we just talk shit because it would fill up. My high school had like 3,000 kids. So our high school. Uh, basketball games, if you didn't go to the JV game, you got a shit seat. You just weren't, and our team was good, so it was fun right. to go to the games. So we, I would go to the JV game, and I was a year younger than JJ, so I'd sit with like a, you know, you sit with an older kid, mm -hmm. but I would talk, we would talk shit, and we got this kid who had back, he had uh, hair on his back. You, know, you, you would be tried on social media right now for this very thing you were doing. <laughs> I don't care. It was one of the most, it was one of the highlights of my high school career. Getting these kids to flip out on inbound passes was so goddamn funny to me. We got this kid, he had hair on his shoulder blades <laughs> on him from behind, and I kept calling him Teen Wolf. And I was like, hey, hey Teen Wolf, where's Styles? I was like, Teen Wolf! And I just kept yelling at him, and he's inbounding a pass, and I'll never forget, he has the ball over his head, and he's right in front of JJ and I. And I'm like, oh, it's Teen Wolf! Teen Wolf! And I think I was a sophomore in high school, and he just takes the ball, and he turns around, and he goes, shut the fuck up! Like that, and... The, our entire student section went ape shit laughing, and it was like you could see how it just got to yeah, him, just got to him, just completely Team got to Wolf. him. Man, just kept calling him Team Wolf. Back hair in high school's got to be rough. Oh, dude, that guy, and he was like, he was like muscular. He was like a like a short muscular guy, so you could tell he like worked that out, that anger. He was like fucking back hair. He killed himself that night. Oh, what? That was the first time Lou wore that suit. Well, I took a werewolf out of this world, so I feel better. <laughs> Dan uh, Silver Bullet Soda. <laughs> How do I kill werewolves? I heckle them to death. But that was like, you guys didn't do that at high school games? It was fun to like talk Dan, shit we had, to high Dan, school. We had intramural bowling. What? We had intramural bowling was our sport. You guys didn't have a basketball team? No, not a traveling basketball. It was like some intramural basketball, too, I think. Yeah. Oh, look, Devin Benner here. Ben's coming in fucking orange. Oh, he ben is, is like, is he the on the teeth. side of a mountain? There he is. Deb is you know, uh, just a vision. <laughs> she you is know, just a vision. Jacob, they, they might... They might not like us because of you, because you can't hide. Like when she walks in with Ben, 
you, you know see, what it reminds me of? Did you, you, did you see Jacob's like wave just now? It's such a good. I don't know if you know your. Hey! Oh, look at that! That wave. See, she, that's a good. Christine's wave. bad at this too. At like showing too much on your face. You yeah. Know what I mean? And like, and like, ja and like Jacob wave. He goes. He was like. He's like, hey, hi, Dad. Hey, hey, no, Dad. Not, do you still? Not you, Orange Gina. Hey. Behind you. <laughs> yeah. Get out of the way, Orange Julius. <laughs> I'm looking right at Dad. Hi, you. Yeah, you. He does, he does the bigger McCracken. Sp yeah, not you. Yeah. You. Hey. <laughs> Splay Garfield. Split. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mondays are the worst. Go eat some lasagna, Garfield. <laughs> Get out of my eyes. <laughs> Uh, they, uh, <laughs> yeah, Jacob. Every time he sees her, it reminds me of a cartoon where they smell something, and the smell picks him up and brings him over. Jacob just slams into the window. His, 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 he turns a corner, and his legs just whip around the corner after it. <laughs> yeah. She's so hot. <laughs> I know. It's ridiculous. Should we find out if she's single? She's married, dude. Yeah, she's I know, but maybe it's falling apart. Oh, God, I'd be the first in line. <laughs> Shall I go and... Looks like a guy in a suit. Look at Murphy looking for an excuse to come over. Yeah. <laughs> what a creep, Murphy. Murphy's face is casual. You I know, can't like, see her from my He's spot. pretending to check the equipment. Yes, look how cool that is. <laughs> how a ghost face killer. Oh, oh, my God, you cannot. If I get that for you, you have to wear it. Yeah. Dude, what do you think? I won't wear it? You got to perform. No, I won't do stand up. Respect. Respect. I can't. Oh, buddy? I can't do stand up with an eagle. I want that, I want that to be your. Uh, I want that Special? To be, I want that to be your pocket hand, too. Yeah. The hand you just got in your pocket with a giant <laughs> eagle coming off. Of it. Just tear into my pocket. Oh, God damn it. Just rips, Jay, just rips through the pocket of your hoodie. Jay, this fucking falcon wing caught on. I tear the mic cord, going to grab for the mic. <laughs> oh. Is this thing available anywhere? No. I've not been able to find it anywhere. I think it was custom made. God damn you right think he asked for a falcon on his arm? Uh, Cher -cher. Yeah, I think he had a custom made gold falcon. Cher -cher la ghost. The killer. Mm. Love him. All right. Um, the one thing he wanted to laugh at me was he wanted to laugh at two girls. I didn't want to laugh at Bernard Hopkins. I no, think no, no. he's one of the greatest boxers of all time. No, that's it's, a pretty... It's a tough way to go out. That's a that's, this, that's it. Did he retire? Afterwards? Did he talk afterwards? He, I don't know. Can you, I don't know if you can find the post-fight interview. Be, but, I hope he finds the post-fight interview from on the floor still down there. He goes... He's like, uh... I'm cool. It's cold down here. Oh, man. You'd be, you'd, you'd be blown away by how much popcorn people just drop. Oh, <laughs> it's sticky, but not like soda sticky. <laughs> like... I don't know. Like buttery sticky. Like buttery. Buttery. He, um, it's, it's crazy. It sucks to, oh, there's the post owner. He's on a leather couch. Where did they have this interview? Yeah, I buzz, Luke, can you bring up the volume? I buzzed my ass pretty were bad. Were you aware that you had 20 seconds to get back in the ring by rule once you were out of the ring? Oh, Yeah, man. but I couldn't get on my, I couldn't stand up on my feet. But nobody said 20 seconds like that. They said, can you go? Can you continue? And he said, is your ankle all right? And I said, no. And he said, all right. And he said, okay, what you want to do? And I said, let's go back. And he said, all right, can you walk? I said, yeah, but I can't box on it because my leg is thriving. I felt it doing this, like a bad toothache. D uh, you have been a you He's were like, that was your teeth. Yeah, those were your <laughs> teeth. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I didn't realize. I was upside down. I thought my teeth, my feet, thought my feet, my teeth. Up, up was down, left was right. <laughs> so you got to understand where I'm coming from, which is the floor. <laughs> you guys, yeah. I stood up and I was like, "Oh, I didn't even get in the ring yet. This fight like, didn't even happen." How much are these seats? Did I just have a final destination premonition? <laughs> I still got a chance to do this thing. I'm gonna tell my corner. I'm gonna stay away from that left. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about that left. You part. know, but knockout never lose. Knockout always coming. Yeah. You can't beat it. Uh, dude, now knockout looking for you. He's just. Uh, a final destination knockout is so goddamn funny. <laughs> he's, he's, he's in a premonition. I saw the future, and it looked like I was on the floor. He goes, hey, 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 hey now, I'm, I'm out here. Right <laughs> there? Hey, am I having an out-of-body experience? <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's fighting? <laughs> am I, either I just had a dream, or that boy got a serious twerk on his bunch. <laughs> <laughs> also, how cool is Ghostface Killer's wrist falcon? Oh, just uh, <laughs> is this Joe Smith the fourteen millionth? I hear he good. I hear he good. Who's, I honestly, who's he fighting? I honestly, I thought he was a fake name. I, like when they do a drop in at the cellar. I thought I was going to come here and shadow box uh, an imaginary character. He oh, told poor, me it was an exhibition. Poor Bernard Hopkins. I mean, the executioner, twenty-five years old, became professional out of prison.
Yeah. Fought and, for 20, you know, seven years. Fought wealthy? Years. Still as frugal. Hell. Wealthy is all hell, though. But frugal. Sure. But well, my point being, mm-hmm. like, he has money. Yeah. Been, been a pretty good guy. I think really stayed out of trouble, I think, for the most he part. He was on Opie's show uh, a couple weeks ago, and I heard it. I saw, like, uh, it was great. <laughs> oh, did he say some reason? You think, I'll tell you what. Joe Smith. Joe Schmith. <laughs> I'm going to knock this motherfucker through the ropes. <laughs> reason I took my last fight was because I know it'll end in a knockout. Know what I mean? <laughs> This is him getting off the floor, like, eating those words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my leg throbbing like two fake. <laughs> <laughs> I, got a, I got a leg too fake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I got a leg injury like a two fake. It's such a great thing to say after getting knocked out. Oh, my feet sore, like a headache. <laughs> I got like a headache in my feet. <laughs> that's like, that's like cu- coming out of surgery talk. Yeah. We were like, ah, my leg hurts like a toothache. <laughs> Jay, did you fall asleep on the couch? Because you said your leg hurts like a toothache. You, did I cut off my neck? Did I cut off, the, did I cut off my jugular? Did I pass out? <laughs> did you ever do that in middle school? Will you pass out? Make I wouldn't pass? do that. Did Fuck you, no. Did anyone in this room besides me do it? I always did. Yes, you did, Lou. <laughs> I did it in my seventh grade science class before class. In front of the class, I go, because I thought it was funny, and this girl, Casey Kiggins, was like, what are you doing? I was like, watch this. I'm going to cut off my breath. And then I was just pulling myself up off the floor, and I was like, what? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what the hell? You did it to yourself? Yeah, because you go, you breathe, and you stand up, and then you, you like hold your neck like that, and then the next thing I knew, I was just like getting up. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Hey. <laughs> it just tasted like metal. Hey, <laughs> where did all these teachers come from? Uh, Mr. Cooney. That was my teacher's name. And he came in, and he's like, Soder, what are you doing? And I was like... <laughs> <She's> like <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah. What am I doing? Come on, man. What are we doing? We're doing uh, this is geometry, right? <laughs> We're doing geometry. Third period. It's sixth. Oh, man. What? <laughs> Mr. Cooney. What are we room? doing? We're getting ready to take a shower, baby. It's school today. Sometimes we'd, you'd, uh, we'd press on each other's chests. I've seen that one. Uh, the one I always see would be people doing it like as a team. Yeah, you had to knock your friend out. <laughs> yeah, but you would, but people would wake up saying shit like that. Like my my feet are a toothache. <laughs> That's what it reminded me of. Feet are a toothache because you just come out you're like. Stop. Oh, my ears are running. Like a, like a, my my nose is running, but my ears. Yeah, mm. I, have a, I have runny ears. Asphalt cupcakes. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's what I just made. <laughs> Asphalt, cup- <laughs> Asphalt cupcakes. Oh, damn, Deb and flannel. I'm sorry. I know it. To, By the way, to it's show. multiple levels of orange today because he's still wearing orange, and there's some orange over here on the on the chair. Good news is Ben can never get lost in a snowstorm. Absolutely not. First like, one saved. Oh, we have him right here. Oh, yeah. you know what? We lost Ben. Wait, nope. We got him. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Ben being lost ben, in an accident. Ben's dressed like the uh, like the rebel pilots from Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> right here, Rogue One, red. <laughs> He's dressed like a red one, red fourteen. <laughs> Can you bring up uh, Rebel Pilots? Have you seen the new Star Wars Rogue One? Yeah, dude, camped out and everything. Wore my Spock ears. Shut up. It was fucking Spock great. Spock ears. Oh yeah. Mean. I got into a fight about eBay toys with some with a fat kid Wait, from Minneapolis. Wait, not, dude. I like Star Wars. I love Star Wars. I'm not gonna fight to see it this fucking weekend. I'm an adult who can wait. Oh, dude. <laughs> That is Ben and his friends. Oh, yeah. It ben, is- I didn't know you. <laughs> ben, I didn't realize you were fucking Rebel Starfleet. Hey, Ben, uh, what year of Rebel Starfleet did you know you were going to retire to play golf? When did you get to the uh, Rebel Pilot Academy? That's what he hears before he tees off. I was just going to say that. <laughs> That's what he hums as he tees off. <laughs> In just a few minutes, in a green far, far away, I'll be putting after this sweet-ass drive. Deb goes, Bet Deb's just rolling her eyes. She's like, just tee off, Ben. Ben, just tee off. Please. All the squat thrusts in the world have prepared me for this one moment. Um, I found a video, I found an old me- email I sent to Jacob of videos that, I, that we were like supposed to watch and we never did. In this video, remember we were talking about ghost peppers? Mm-hmm. We're talking. What were they called? Ghost peppers or Carolina peppers? What Carolina were- Reaper. Carolina Reaper peppers. We found a video, and it's just these two hot girls eating it. And then you've definitely seen it, Jay. I, I, I never. Are saw they it. British or something? Like that? No. 
Do you have it, Christine? Yeah, hold on. I brought it over here. It's on your Facebook feed yeah, off. I see it a lot. Is it one of those like? Is it like one of those super popular internet videos where you're like? It's not like Charlie bit my finger though, right? How many screens do you have open? <laughs> That's how lot. she lives, dog. You live a life just piled on. If we go on the road and only bring my computer, when I go, oh, let me look up to my computer, the whole top is just 70 tabs of stuff. And it's always like... There it is. These girls are shopping. smoking hot. Yeah, I saw this. I saw this. Yeah, You've yeah. seen this? Yeah, go for it, though. Play. It's really fun. At the Bonfire SXM on Twitter. It's, oh, hold on. At the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat to watch these two girls eat. Are they eating Carolina Reaper peppers? Yes. It just my the favorite. Just I watched it one time. The end with a girl is so fucking funny. It's such hot girl reaction to something stupid. Like when skateboarders and shit do dumb shit and they eat it and they get hurt. They're always like, oh, oh no, man. Whoa, bro, my themes. Oh no, nah, bro. That's a, but like these are hot girls oh, in dude. bikini tops. I think I got a toothache in my elbow. <laughs> yeah, like oh, you got a Bernard Hopkins. Uh, hit by hit play. But this is like hot. Right, girl. These are the world's hottest peppers. They start coughing after they eat it. This is this where it gets great. Drinking water doesn't help. One of them swirls it up. Swallows it. Here it goes. It just keeps getting worse. Dumping water on her face. Now she's inside. They're laughing at her. It's still burning. She's just sitting here drooling. Lay back. Holy shit. Lay back. Are you okay? No. That wasn't a good idea. She's breathing hard. Holy hell. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm gonna put it in the Damn. I didn't think it hurt that bad. This is not good. This is not fucking good. Uh, that's, okay? that's, I don't remember that part. This is no longer your home. Are you feeling any better? It's time for you to cross Today over. We're be eating the Carolina Reaper pepper. Oh, uh, that goes right back to the beginning because uh -huh. it's on loop on Instagram. <laughs> that's great. That's great. Have you ever uh, seen that? Dude, when this the is mom not comes, good. When this the, is not fucking good. <laughs> when the mom comes out of the bedroom, it's such white lady panic. It's this that's one of not, my favorite. Th this is not fucking good. Guys, turn off the damn phone. You know what's Angela great? is sick. Here's what I love about this. This is what I would like to see. This is my problem. I admit, but like with this now, these girls were so hot when they started off, and their whole thing is clearly based off being hot. I want to see when they have to go rip that painful shit. No. And when you look in the bowl, it looks like leafy greens because it's actually ripping your intestinal lining out. Well, the brunette does the most hot girl reaction where she's like, I'm sorry, I can't bring you out. You guys are bringing you out. And then everyone's like, no, we got Yeah. Right, right there. I didn't think I hurt that bad. This is not good. This is not fucking good. You okay? Fire, 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 fire. Dogs are hot, rich girls. Yeah, hot, rich girls. And then they. They, they are. Look at their pool. Look at the house. The yeah. Pool up yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we're making out. I have a blouse off. We're skirt up. I got my wiener out. <laughs> oh, you should have done it with the volume. <laughs> <laughs> with them reacting to Craig Glazer's dick like it's the hot pepper. They're freaking try, out. Can you try that out? We're making Both out. girls screaming. Blouse off. Oh, we're skirt up. I got my wiener out. <laughs> These girls are beautiful. We're making out. I have a pile saw. We're screwed up. I got my wiener out. It's still burning. Wiener's out. Dogs Jesus there. Rolling. April Macy. Lay back. Holy shit. Lay back. So I give April Macy a reaper pepper. <laughs> And uh, next thing I know, drooling, screaming. Her mom's yelling, this is fucking bad. Dog's there. Wiener's out. <laughs> now, listen, I try to get blown in the pool, but they're not going for it. <laughs> Just shock the pool with chlorine. Dog's there. Reaper pepper. <laughs> Wiener's out. Jack, brother, five minutes. I remember I got the reaper pepper in the glove box. Of Black, the Lotus. <laughs> Black Barbie, Nicole Scherzinger. Oh, man. Yeah, them freaking out to Craig Glazer's dick is my new favorite double layered game to play. Yeah, let's time it better where we. Let's get to the part where he says, My wiener's out, and then have them scream. <laughs> That's what I was trying for. Okay. Go. Today, we're going to be eating the Carolina Reaper pepper. These are the world's hottest peppers. We're making out. I have a blouse off. We're skirt up. I got my wiener out. Oh, we can time that better. We're making out. I have a blouse off. We're skirt up. I got my wiener out. 
And they're so hot, these chicks, and they are making not attractive faces. Still hot when they're making the faces. I think so. Wow, so I'm left. screwed up. I got my wiener out. <laughs> it's still burning? Okay. You just like that one on the left. Yeah. She's the most dramatic You think one. that's hot right there? She's hot. She's still hot right there. Really? I mean, she's puking, so she's not hot there, but I'm saying, like, she's still... For better or for worse, Dan. Yeah. All the way, all the way to the end, Dan. All the way up. Maybe I'll ride this thing all the way to the end. This is not good. This is me coming out of her bedroom. He's like, you're right. I, you're I not. told her. I told her mom. You already call her mom, mom. <laughs> I told her mom. I said this wasn't good. Today we're gonna be eating ghost peppers, babe. This is not a good idea, babe. This is not. A, I mean, you look great. This is not a good idea. Her tits are fantastic. <laughs> Look, she might be sixteen. Get out of okay. my house, you fucking whore! I'm not saying I'm marrying her. I'm saying she's hot. Whoa. You should have said make more disclaimers than that. I would never say that in my life. I mean, I'm not I saying would... I want to marry her. I just want to fucking plop it in her. You know what I'm saying? No, but I'm 16, saying... long and lean. You can't... Dogs there, pull wieners out. <laughs> Jack, can't... book, you king can't... of sting, you can't... lotus. You can't walk Johnny me Dare. to that. You can't walk me and be like, oh, how hot's that girl? You're like, yeah, she's really hot. You're like, all right, dude, she's 16. You're she's like, 16, you freaky piece of shit. <laughs> Nikki Glazer, April Macy, dogs there, lotus, Johnny Dare, early morning radio, That's how I get... Overland Park, Jack I... Stack. I get possessed by Craig Glazer. Ah, ah, dogs are there. This is not uh, fucking good. Demon, get out of this boy dance order. I can't. Dogs are here. Everything's going right. Hey, dogs here. There is no dogs in this house. How you do that? The dogs of hell. The hounds of hell. Dogs here. I'm inside, Dan. Wiener's out. <laughs> April Macy. Nikki Glazer. Your mother sucks cock and hell. <laughs> Your mother sucks cock and hell. Oh, hey. I gotta take a break because I just fucking hawk one right now. Oh, dude. Ah! Ah! It's still burning. That's how I feel about your screen. You're sitting here drooling. <laughs> Oh, don't you get rid of the can? Oh! It's behind me now! That was Fuck! Crazy. It's so gross, it's the bonfire. What? It's not that gross. Holy hell. Hi, this is Gary Goldman, and you're listening to The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Party yo! Party you got over. Midwest Wayne. I missed the look, man. I really miss the, I missed the baggie. You missed the baggie and the band-aid under the eye? Did they ever explain the band-aid? Yeah, it was for his friend in prison. Oh, okay. Um, but you got to change from here to her. Her. You get to say over her. True that. Um, Bonfire Radio, Comedy Central, Sirius XM 95. Big Jokers and Dan Soto, we are joined. Uh, very exciting because he's, he's moving to L.A., so he's oh, no. leaving us. He's hitting the West Coast. It's a bummer, man. The, uh, from Comedy Central, the roast battle champion himself, the hilarious Mike Lawrence is with us. Yeah. Uh, thanks, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at pictures of uh, X-Wing fighters uh, yeah. in the studio. And I just love that it's a galaxy long ago, far away, and they named the fat one Porkins. Yeah. It's, Porkins. It's They're like still they hilarious. They pigs in the Star Wars universe. You don't know that. There could have been a whole planet of beef or <laughs> of pork. No. Porkins also in the Batman movie. Is he? Oh, he's the detective that gets pulled yeah, up yeah. on mm -hmm. Batman. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and he also wears the same exact orange as Ben from the Golf yeah. Channel. I want to look up what he's done, but I'll just find out the year he died and be really sad. Yeah. Where is he? Let me see him. The actor that played Porkins? Kind of looks like Patrick at the stand. That's so funny. Oh, Jesus. And the guy behind him is just laughing at him for being fat. He's like, you're going to die. Why are, you, why are they even letting you fly? Oh, yeah, let Porkins go out front. <laughs> hey, Porkins, you should, uh, you should attack the Death Star. <laughs> hey, Porkins, you're really good at your controls. You should probably lead this charge. That was like hey, one thing I hey, saw. Hey, Porkins, Rogue. what did you get in the obstacle course in the X-Wing fire camp? <laughs> I saw Rogue One, and it would have been great if there was just thin Porkins, and then oh. you're just like, so what happens between this and episode four? Porkins, Porkins finds out about Sprite on a different planet. <laughs> <laughs> Porkins, you're looking great, man. Treat yourself a little bit. <laughs> hey, Porkins, you stick behind, get some extra dessert. <laughs> There's no candy in R2-D2. Let me at him. He Stop puts it. popcorn in R2-D2. <laughs> ah. pork, pork. That should have been a TBS spinoff. Porkins. Porkins. What? 
all, all of his hijinks at the X-Wing Academy. Yeah. Hey, hon, home from a long day of X-Wing fighting. Double XL wing. Yeah. <laughs> well, my father's got to move in the basement with us now. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and starring Kevin James as Porky. I'm Porkins. more of a belt fighter myself. Yeah. So, like, guys, this is, we're in syndication. Chuck Lorre's behind it. We're, we're going for the. Oh, those title cards are the best at the end. This, yeah. Jed, George I Lucas swear does not to God. Of Jedi, swear to God. Jedi, swear to God. Samuel L. Jackson comes by as a brief appearance by Mace Windu. <laughs> this would be great. What y'all getting into? And when Mace Windu just sounds like the name George Lucas had for a black person before meeting one. <laughs> There's just a bunch of Mace Windu. Mace Windu. <laughs> uh, do we have? I want to, and I want the theme song to be to the tune of "That's My Mama's" theme tune. That's remember, my that's white my mama? mama. Remember, yeah, that's my white that's mama. That's my favorite mm-hmm. sketch on Matt TV. Yeah, it was Artie Lang's. I'm gonna. What is it? What was the catchphrase? I'm Don't make me black. break my foot what off of your yeah. ass. That's what it was. That's Where's my, my mama. Mental, remember how people came out of "That's My Mama"? That was Clifton. Right here. The network premiere of the single most offensive TV show of all time became the most watched TV show of all time. Don't make me break my foot off in your ass! <laughs> Here's what people had to say about That's My White Mama. <laughs> my Angelou said, I couldn't believe my eyes. Bob Dole said, the people who watch television for me told me it was very offensive, so I'm against it. And Strom Thurmond said, it was laugh-fensive. Mama can break her foot off in my ass anytime. <laughs> Special episode of That's My White Mama deals with the problem of smoking in a frank, mature manner. Wait, can you go to the actual theme song of That's My Mama, the actual song That's My Mama? That, that's My White Mama? You know, you know That's My Mama's an actual... Oh, okay. no. I don't remember You guys didn't know that? No. no. I knew Mama's family. I just no, knew That's My White Mama. Mama. Oh, come on. I didn't even know. This is it? Yes. Oh, wow. The 70s had such great horn sections. Recorded on tape before this is like on. copyright free music that would just be called like Urban Soul, number five. Yeah. New Orleans Street. Yeah. Now, this is, there's got to be the intro. I said let it go. I'm feeling this. It's Ooh. not that, but there's the actual. What, there's what the was the show? Here we go. Welcome to Oscar's Barbershop. Named after my daddy who passed it on to me. It's been a part of Washington, D.C. a long time. This is me, Clifton Curtis, my own boss and loving every minute of it. Remember this guy? And this is my little sister, Tracy, and her husband, Leonard. He's a dork. This is my best friend. Remember this guy? Lucky Earl. Hey, Jack. This wonderful person, well... That's my mama. <laughs> yeah. That's that was awesome. great. But where's the actual, there's a, there's a song. That's my mama. <laughs> that's my mama. Well, she's a beautiful lady. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah, all my life. With lyrics. Look for lyrics, because I want to. Well, you know what's great, too, about shows back then? Like, every episode, they started with that. Like, that was like the previously on. Just so you know, here's Leonard. And well, that, well, that's mama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, that right there? <laughs> Well, that's mom. Oh, that thick, <laughs> that thick bitch. That's mom. Uh, while oh, we're finding wow. while we're finding those lyrics, uh, Mike Lawrence, well, you know, is going to be at Zany's in Chicago uh, coming up February sixteenth and seventeenth. For tickets, go to mikelawrencecomedy dot com and follow at the Mike Lawrence on Twitter. And you can also check out you can check out Big J in California coming up at the American Comedy Company. That's Thursday, December 29th through New Year's Eve. December 31st, and then he's going to be at the Punchline in San Francisco Thursday, January 5th through Saturday, January 7th. Go get tickets at BigJComedy.com. Can I I just say this? I I don't really know, but this motherfucker next to me had to Google the guy who played Porkins. William Hootkins uh, died October 23rd, 2005. I knew it. You knew it. As a pro wrestling fan, you see a fat guy, you're like, all right. What his year? Day, his days are limited. Yeah. His days are he was he was in Star Wars, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and Batman. Jesus, Jesus! That's Tim it. Burton's That's a big thing. Yeah, yeah he's in nice classics. Um, Dan Soder, of course, is going to be at Helium Comedy Club uh, New Year's Eve weekend, Thursday the 29th through New Year's Eve. Make sure you check him out. You can get your tickets, I believe, now at DanSoder.com. Yeah. And if you're in the New York area, I'm going to be at Gotham Comedy Club January 6th and 7th for five shows so come out to that so do, do we you, find it do we find that please mama? stop googling pork kids now i found out that why are you upset at jacob sec- 
Because he had a second wife that he married in July 24th, 2005, and then died October 23rd, 2005. Perfect. I didn't need to see that. You don't marry Porkins. <laughs> you, know, you know what you're getting into. Porkins marries you. <laughs> Mary, Porkins takes you as a bride. He goes, I, you are mine. <sighs> Was he the boulder in Raiders of the Lost Ark? Here I go. Yeah. You ever get, you ever get fingered oh, in an X-wing? <laughs> yeah. You ever, you ever gave a roadhead in an X-wing? You ever watch That's My Mama? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to meet Michael Keaton, Batman? <sighs> is this a? Is this? You ever want to eat Popeyes and fuck the Popeyes lady at the same time? Uh -huh. We can't find it. We can't find what. The yeah. theme song, even on full episodes, it's the no same shit. One. Jay, did you make up this theme song? Yeah, I think you're imagining. Type an outro. Maybe it was the outro. Ooh. Ooh. Well, we got. I want to watch this Jerry Lee interview. Jerry, just Jerry Lewis. Jerry yeah. Lee Lewis interview. <laughs> yeah, I fucked my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Is this it? Maybe if we jump ahead. I you think you know, in Coming to America, when they introduce Randy Watson, they say he's from the, from the What's, What's Going, going Down, down episode, episode of That's, That's My, my Mama. Mama. That's where I know it from. Oh, it's a sweet sax. <laughs> That's a long. That was. There's no way I'm making long. this up. That's my mama. You're making it up. That's. Is that a song I wrote as a child? <laughs> this should be a song. <laughs> She's a beautiful lady <laughs> with big dresses. Uh, your mom's like Jay. You have a talent. Because you should go on this theme song writing. Mama, I got a, I got a spec song for the, That's My Mama. You think they'll take it? It's can you funny, drive me to New York baby. so I can pitch it? Uh, mama's favorite food was just porkin'. Uh, <laughs> what are you eating, Mama? Bag of porkin'. Bag of porkin'. <laughs> can we, uh... That's My Mama, brought to you by Porkins from Wise. <laughs> it's a guy that'll die soon. And that would be flavor. Yeah. Can you... Huh? Do you have the Jerry? In, oh, Jerry! So Jacob came in today to well, the show. This, one, this is the one that the one we're gonna watch. We'll get to it. But Jacob was like, "I want you guys." He he told me he's like, "I want you to watch <laughs> this interview." Why do you want us to watch this interview? He's just an asshole. He's yeah, one of the Hollywood great assholes and vintage. He's ninety years old and big as big an asshole as he's ever been. I mean, you know, you know what? Like, we're gonna like miss Jerry. that type of asshole. You yeah, know, yeah, like unabashed. We, you know, like, you think about it, like, how sad would it be if, like, you saw Johnny Cash, like, having to play beer pong with Jimmy Fallon? Like, uh, there needs to be, like, that hello. untouchable level of, yeah. like, at the end, show business, not compromising I piece up, of garbage. I woke up in a cold sweat the other day because I had a dream about about uh, Johnny Cash singing ca car karaoke with James Corden. <laughs> yeah. Like, no. We, all right, are we going to do this or not? <laughs> he gets in. He goes, oh, oh, thank you so much, Johnny, for coming on the show. Because I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, John. I don't know, Corden. I'm not really comfortable with I this. tickled myself today <laughs> yeah. to see if I could smile. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> He goes, James, uh, this is a uh, song about June dying, so. Uh, I can't feel my face when I'm with you, <laughs> but I love it. I don't yes, know. Uh, you know what, Corden? I gotta be honest. Let me out in the next corner. I'm not comfortable with this even. I feel like fist fighting whoever's in front of me. <laughs> you know, uh, when I did Folsom, I didn't know I'd fall so far. <laughs> I wish I would have died. Let's I call like it the way 90s. you work it. Some diggity. <laughs> so this is... A little bit of diggity. Not a lot of diggity. I'm not inclined Special to say... Diggity. I'm not inclined to say no diggity. Uh, it's too early in the game to make a call like that. Well, I could find a little bit of diggity. <laughs> Bra Same Bra bass diggity line in every bro. song. Ding, da, ding, 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 da, ding, 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 ding. Is this him? Is this the video? Okay, good. This is Jerry Lewis being an asshole. Was there never a moment? Why? You got it. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, thank you. No. What are you people doing? Why not you do it? No, not at all. No, no. <laughs> Seven painfully awkward minutes with... We're doing a feature on people who are still working in their 90s. Have you ever thought about retiring? Why? Because uh, you're old? Was there never a moment... That you thought is he not retired? Retire no, he's still know. why? I'm sorry. Come from a, I'm not your nurse. Come from a generation a little older, and I think a Bob that looks Hope, like the sweater Ronald McDonald will die in. 
you knew, many of whom didn't want to, uh, or never retired either. Um, do you see similarities with them? None. None? What do you think drives people like you and, and them to want to keep working? Because we do it well. Hold on, can you pause this? I need help to get out of my pants. <laughs> I do that well, too. I lay there like a dead here's, weight. Here's my big issue. The interviewer hasn't been likable enough for me to sympathize with him. I and, was just going to say... And I should have been at this point. Yeah. Nothing would make me like this interviewer more if he goes, Hey, can you, hey Steve, can you stop rolling real quick? <laughs> Listen here, you crotchy old fuck. I'm going to ask you some questions. You keep shading me with these one-word answers. Someone's about to get popped in their collarbone. Now, I know your bones are like that of a bird. So no break. So more than one word answer, you old fuck. I hope he goes. I'll dice. give your angel MS, you piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> I hope he goes full dice clay on CNN on this one. He goes, well, let me tell you something. Uh, why? Why? Do your fucking homework, this, cocksucker. You come and do a little fucking interview. And this next this thing, video should also just be called 90-year-old man acts like a 90-year-old man. Who are you? Yeah. Why? Why are we surprised? Why? Why won't death take me? Grandpa. It took Dean. Was Dean better than me? Yeah. Well, I even... Well, God. That's what's funny about him is he's such a crotchety dude. Jerry, but if you ask him to do, like, humor again, like, it's he, he reverts back to that still. So he's like, like why? I don't want to be here. I want to go home. It's very late. He goes, hey, Jerry, something for the camera. Oh, pie in the face. Oh, boy. Yeah. I slipped in water. Go, 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 go. Okay. Anyway, let's get the fuck out of here. Too many blacks. Let's yeah. move. I don't like you're all Eddie in. Murphy's going to redo this interview 30 years later. They're going to forget me. Uh, They're going gonna... to fucking forget yeah. me. A goddamn Cullen's going to come take this from me, too. They take all of it. Oh, hang on. There's kids here. I go, 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 go. You're all unprofessional. The sounds he made then are just the Alzheimer's kicking in now. Yeah. <laughs> what day fin is it? <laughs> hit play. Hold on. Hit play again. Because I just want to see if he keeps doing one-word answers. What, That's um, all it is? What's different about performing now for you than, say, 20 years ago? How is it, how is it different for you? Trans. <laughs> not, not at all? Not at all. It's um, not different. You, you fucking asshole. I know. Yeah. We let the Japs out of the internment camps. <laughs> what's different? I don't know. A lot more slant. I, <laughs> what? You can't say that, Jerry. I don't know. A bunch of pan faces getting their own neighborhoods in New York. <laughs> If I knew George Decay was gay back then, I would have punched him twice. <laughs> I, would have I don't know. They gave AIDS a name. That's all that's different. <laughs> we made fun of Sammy, Sammy Davis Jr. for having one eye. We didn't realize he was a dog. <laughs> it was, you know, we were, we were progressive. It was a different time. Obvious. It's the same. It's the exact same. Had exact I known, had I known that they'd take over top 40, I would have fixed this year. Had I known that, uh, no, it's the exact same. Everyone had cameras on their phone. But it, here's the thing: if you watch like old like comedy legends, they're either like cranky or I I prefer this to sad. Like I watched like an, a video with like it was like I think like Larry, and you know, well you know I mean Larry wrenches were just funniest, so we used a wrench instead of a bro. Oh, like, from Three Stooges, oh, yeah, Larry, like yeah. Larry from the Three Stooges, like Larry Fine, yeah. Dude, you don't want to see that. Or, what are we going to become? Dude, way back. If I'm going to be just out of it. If you listen to old, I'll be dead before 50. If you listen to uh, old. <laughs> hey, uh, poor kids made it to 57. True that. Yeah, dude. You <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not worse than poor kids. You're going to make it to 60. Um, I forget what I was going to say already. It was going to be. We were talking about crotchety old people. And he's, he talked about Larry. Oh, Larry Fine. Old yeah. uh, Howard Stern when they used to have Billy West on their show. Who's got an amazing voice? Artist oh yeah, guy. He's brilliant. Yeah, you know Billy West is yeah. Yeah, dude, he used to do the Larry Fine thing. Just like his voice impression of Larry Fine was one of the funniest goddamn things of all time. Um, was like doing? Larry backstage at Woodstock, like don't eat the brown ass. <laughs> his voice is, <laughs> just really nails it. What, one of the best impressions is Gilbert Gottfried uh, doing Groucho at the end. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it was the style at the time. <laughs> he he became a fucking angry motherfucker. Groucho, Groucho Marx. Can yeah. you find some? I mean, play this, but find some Groucho Marx. Go back to Jerry Lewis being a dickhead. It's I think Groucho on like the Dick Cavett show, but it's all like. But that's, you know, but we do that. Too. Me me and Soder had lunch today, and we're like, these open micers these days. We're like 33. It. They don't respect it. Yeah. It the we're the same. I remember when Twitter was just a new thing. No one cared. 
There was a time you put your name in the bucket and it meant something. <laughs> yeah. You had a computer, it means you owned a corporation. <laughs> <laughs> Hit play on this interview. I'm glad I can. Oh, yeah. Concessions to being, you know, o- older in your, in your performing, or does it, how do you keep the material fresh for yourself? By working at it. Okay. Where do you go up? You've had uh, a number of... Uh, you, by the way, at this point, you could tell the interviewer is shook. Yeah. He oh, shook yeah. up. When you frown so much in your life, look at all that real estate between his nostrils and lips. It's so much. Uh, it's just from going... Jacob said go to like two-thirds in. You want to skip ahead? You yeah. Advice for the young, young 80-year-olds about staying active at, at 90 to sort of... Get a day job. What? Yeah. Get but you can't. But mm-hmm. you, you've never had a. You've never actually had a. a this is like if a magic a, eight ball started a, hitting a, you for <laughs> shaking it too much. Yeah. My sources say no. <laughs> <laughs> Ask again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. You just. Um, you just did a movie a couple years ago. It just is coming out. Max Rose. What was it like to step behind? What movie? Max uh, Rose. He said the old fuck. Pause it. Did you ever right? see his? Yeah. Do you ever see his? Uh, the, he's the clown who walks kids to the. Oh, it's called the day uh, the clown. The, cla- the day the laughter died, maybe. No, the day the clown cried. Yeah. And yeah. no one is actually like apparently like Harry Shearer like you know Spinal Tap and The Simpsons saw it like he talked about it on Stern. It's this legendary thing. I think you can get the script now, but you gotta um, get the script. I thought they actually released like yeah. they didn't. Yeah. He he plays a a a a, a clown named Helmet von Dork. <laughs> who leads kids into the ovens. And this was like his like passion project. Yeah. Yeah. What? That, yeah. that was his big thing he wanted to get out. That pitch meeting? I got a good one. So I've been taking pies to the face for over yeah. thirty years, but I got a different one. And is the this... kids and the kids are all like, I can't find my mommy and I just go, Look, 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 look. <laughs> your mommy's inside here. Your mom's in the shower. Like, Whoa, I just fell. Pretty lady. <laughs> oh. First with the flames and then the acid. Always the acid. Wait a second. There's a quarter behind you. You know what? There's more quarters in there. Yeah. <laughs> you can hide in the porta parties. <laughs> Cover yourself in shit. <laughs> and, you know, she's just writing in the diary, and then they did it. They just put the star the freaking... Jerry Lewis Can't reenacting. Sh- keep your voices down so you don't hear boot stumps. Gotta hide in the floor, boy. It's a free bus ride. You're going to take it. Mr. Lewis, this is completely inappropriate to teach. Kids, all I'd say is learn how to sew. Get yourself a train and I'm going to kill you in the ovens. And a, and a bit of piece of advice. Rip that star off your jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you coming. Yeah, Jerry Lewis is such a fucking like a soft comedian and then just to be like shut up they don't do it the way i did it he said get a day job by the way he's dressed like he is the assistant manager at a mcdonald's i all said day. he looks like ronald mcdonald yeah. at the end yeah he really yeah. he stopped yeah. wearing the clown costume but he still wears the colors like, goes, i believe in the colors he was like call me ron that's the, that's the sweater cosby was convicted in yeah. he was like, don't root for me root for the uniform you know what i mean yeah, yeah. hey listen uh I, I appreciate my time under the arches you know uh, i like to believe that i met that a lot was... of good i met a lot of good people i mean, I met the Hamburglar. I met Grimace. There's a lot of people. I'll tell you this. A lot of people that my kids don't know that I knew that people know of because of me. I don't like that one bit. So I like that your Jerry Lee Lewis voice just sounds like a woman with lung cancer and broke her tone. I'm dying. <laughs> my name is Harvey Fias. I have CO. I have COPD. I'm not stopping smoking now. What's the goddamn point? I got stumps on my fingers, but I'll tell you this. Punching, it, punching any sort of access code. A lot more fun <laughs> You stick a dick down there, it'll move the cancer <laughs> to the left. Yeah. I'm just knuckling these buttons over here. <laughs> <laughs> they call me knuckle buttons. <laughs> <laughs> they call me the button knuckler. <laughs> what a... Uh... Their nickname around the house, button knuckler. But yeah, like I said before, do you do you want him to be anything else? Uh, no, because no, I, no, I have no affection for him. Is there anything on that the clown thing at all? Is there... There was a Variety article, but the video has been taken down. There was a like a trailer for it or something. See right? thirty. It was like, it said see thirty minutes of footage from the day, and it, it wasn't there. Oh. Jerry, we cannot release this. 
Why? But it's a good one. <laughs> I think that a part of it is like legal matters that it was like filmed on like Libyan soil and they don't know who actually so funny. Like, owns the film. <laughs> Their go getter like, agent that comes in his trailer goes, Jerry, good news. We <laughs> found a sliver of land in Libya that we can film this on. How about if I take out 18 of the Hail Hitlers? That cuts it in two thirds. That's most of the dialogue. <laughs> Libya, I'm more of a fan of the clitoris. Yeah. <laughs> Louise! <laughs> tie starts spinning. <laughs> Gazoo! Speaking of clitoral circumcision! Uh, <laughs> it's so funny to hear him sing and then play this video where he's just an old, angry man. Did it play, Christine? You remembered it. Uh, what was it like performing again after not having done it for a... For our what are you chewing? Yeah. It's great. Cool. His own cheeks. He's like slowly like eating himself. You never <laughs> I just maybe he's, like, maybe he's you not never forget. Maybe he's, he's not even talking. They just put peanut butter in his mouth, so his mouth moves, and they're just <laughs> saying mean things like for Mr. him. Like Mr. This Ed, is yeah, not at all. No. I just, I just had a piece of food come into my cheek Absolutely. from Mel's diner. Absolutely, one now. What? For you to star in. Mm-hmm. And are you also? I think I read that you were, you're also still writing some screenplays or doing work. Right. They should have. You know what they should have? Yeah. Halfway through this, when he started being an asshole, they should have They should have started getting him retirement home voice, where they go, I heard you're still writing. <laughs> like, talk to an old person like an asshole. <laughs> you're, are, so you're planning on starring on that. He's like, why are you doing that? Why are you talking to me? So like last year you did a movie. Next year, what are you going to try? Maybe a puzzle? Mm. Do you, you going to do a puzzle? Mr. Lewis, your grandson's here. Do you remember Franklin? <laughs> do you remember your grandson, Franklin? He plays the piano. It was lovely. Um, yeah, he's... But by the way, I haven't seen that much autoerotic lip work since L.O. Cool J. <laughs> by the way. I mean, that goes, so you think I meant to hurt you? <laughs> I represent Queen. She was right. Last week, I saw you at the mall, standing at the bus stop about to make a call. I can get my so this other video, we, we don't have to play it, but I at least want to talk about it. This Jerry what? Lewis video. The one. We got it. Okay, yeah. Well, I mean, this we, this we, one's we, amazing. Yeah, we know what he's doing right here. So, I mean, we've got yeah. that. So this is an older version. I mean, he looks much old, younger. And yeah. it's him. You just said it's a three-minute video of him just being an asshole. It's just an amazing story. Okay. Yeah, we got time. But I'll tell you what being a celebrity is. What is it? Uh, if you're humble about it, and if you forget about it now and again, it's wonderful. Because your inner government, the thing that I use all of my life as a guide to like what my conduct should... Jerry Lewis looks should, like Mark Hamill now. <laughs> he, does, he does look like Mark Hamill now. <laughs> and would be. I'm very excited about making it. I'm like a nine-year-old kid. I am playing it to the hilt. I go shopping for things I don't need. I spend money like it's going out of style. Is he Ric Flair in it? I'm thrilled to death that when I'm in the restaurant. I got, buddy, I got a big house on the big side of town. Take your, your wife to Space Mountain <laughs> with the thrusting and the jiving. And the colors and the ups and downs and the oh gods. <laughs> we'll stay in the park. I'll spend the money. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad, this guy's a shitbag, so I'm glad we're pissing off. I'm just There's imagining Arn Anderson dressed like up Dean standing for two hours. Did he come at Schumer a couple years back? No. no. He doesn't think women are funny. He's no, one of those like, pieces of there garbage. Was something they were on together and he yeah, should. The what? They were no. on the roast together. Jerry Lewis was? No. Yeah, Jerry Lewis and, and Amy yeah. were on a roast, and I think he tried to grab her, and she didn't want to, and he just he whispered to her, just go with it. Yeah, yeah, he was weird. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it wasn't was televised, story on right? Was it? It wasn't televised or anything. No, it might have been I a Friars Club roast. That. Oh, wow. Yeah. Or something, and or they he, could, and he grabbed her, and she was no. It was something televised. It was definitely something televised. Yeah. They, they didn't televise that, but like, like he, yeah, she got really yeah. weird with him. Ugh. What was he on? What roast was he on? I mean, he started the roast. <laughs> <laughs> and oh yeah, I mean like the what one when she was on? I don't yeah. think, oh, was Amy on the Don Rickles roast? <laughs> yeah, Amy went back in time. <laughs> Nipsey she's Russell. Like, she's like one, <laughs> she's like Wonder Woman. You look back, you're like, oh my god, Amy's been roasting this whole time. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious.
This was, it looks like it was a Friars Club roast of Jack Black. Andy, were you on the B. Arthur roast? Of the, it was a roast of Jack Black? Yeah. Were you on the Young Jack Lemon roast? It was Comedy Central. No. What was it on? I don't know, it just says just no, Friars, it was a Friars Club. It was a private. Okay, and what, and what happened? They say what happened? I'm pulling, pulling up the articles. Play, he, he, keep hitting this play on the speech. Hours right? that the maitre d' takes me right to my table. Okay. I feel badly for all of those people, and I think it's unfair, but I don't want it to change. That's as honest as I can be. I don't want that to change. While going to my table, I am terribly saddened for those that are still sitting there and waiting there. But celebrity brings you a lot of things. I'll give you the most important, most precious moment of celebrity that I can remember. Here it comes. My daughter, who's the air in my lungs, and I don't have to tell you what she means to me. Yes, she has made me a whole new human being in the last eight years. A better human being, I should say. And we were in Florida. Danny is four years old, and I'm you know, opening... Hang on, I pause. She made me a better human being. I used to be a clown who would lead kids to, the, to, death, <laughs> to their death and think. Over really the last eight years, she's convinced me that's not a good idea. Was it, it's yeah. funny though, like you know, we could make fun of that movie as much as we want, but then they basically like that is kind of what life is beautiful is about. <laughs> yeah, and it sort of, yeah. won like Oscars and shit. <laughs> oh, he was probably fired up about life is oh, beautiful. Yeah. Ravana Benini, you cunt! <laughs> <laughs> I fell, but in a hilarious I do, way. I do this wrong movie, and this stupid wop takes my idea. <laughs> I got a camp for him. <laughs> <laughs> So. Just opened at the theater in Fort Lauderdale with Damn Yankees. What happened was Danny had picked up a pill in the bathroom of the suite and that the party someone started. <laughs> and I fucked Danny. Prior to our coming there, had left the pill on the floor or dropped the pill on the floor, and Danny ingested the pill. All right. I think she thought it was candy. But an hour later, Sam told the nurse, uh, the, the nanny, to please be sure that Danny gets the Benadryl for her cold. Well, she gave her the Benadryl, and Danny came into my apartment side of the, the suite, and she was falling down. Da, Good da, act out. Da, da, couldn't talk, and her hands were getting rigid, and she was poisoned. Mm. I picked her up. And I rushed down to the lobby, and I jumped a guy, get me to the hospital. He saw me with my baby, drove me to the hospital, and went into the emergency room, and there's 67,954 people. That's a lot of people. Including a Mexican karaoke team sitting there waiting. Wait, I don't think that's a I thing. Karaoke team? Is he just making up <laughs> things at this point? I walk in. There is an entire professional cookie dough throwing team. <laughs> 2.3 trillion civilians. Yeah. Also, one man... Who had a piece of rebar go through his shoulder? <laughs> he looked at me. He winked. He said, "I was a big fan. <laughs> big fan. That's what being a celebrity is all about." <laughs> that guy died of the poisoning. <laughs> when these women wearing sweaters on their heads. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, this guy really is insufferable. Keep hit play. Well, I've got a problem here, and I see the door swing open, and there's the doctor. I yelled, "Doctor!" He saw me, came right out, took my daughter in, and they saved her life. She wouldn't have made it in 20 minutes. Celebrity paid me the best gift that I've ever had in my life. And all those people died. <laughs> the door swung open. Then I, went a in, <laughs> then I went into another room and shit in somebody's surgery. Yeah. <laughs> I unplugged someone. <laughs> I never told anybody this was, until that moment. What are you going to do? You know, about final it? destination. <laughs> if they don't take my daughter, they take someone else. Uh, <laughs> second final destination reference today. Yeah, it's a big final destination day on the bomb. Oh, yeah, man, the movie's awesome. It's such a good. I like all those movies and the saws. You know why? Know exactly what you're getting. Yeah, you know exactly yeah. what you're getting. All of it. You open I, the package. I'm you just get okay it. with it. You go, it's, I don't it's, care. It's mousetrap. It's literally like every scene could just be do 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 do. It's, it's like all just fun ways to watch people die. Different ways. Yeah.
That's it. It's like, if you don't find the key we hid in your left tit, then your r- face is going to be ripped in half. Yeah. Well, oh does God, I love it. Final Destination know that Jerry Lewis is a celebrity and that beats Final Destination? Do you know that Mike Lawrence is a celebrity? He has to go. He had to leave at 745. He's already a minute late. I don't want to hold him up from what he has to do, so let's give Mike's plugs. Uh, Mike, again, is going to be at Zany's. Nashville, or no, I'm sorry, Zany Chicago. Such a cool, that is such a cool place. That's my favorite club. Do you know somewhere in that town, uh, we found out, Christine found out by chance, um, Joan Cusack just runs her own, like, general store. What? Really? Just in downtown Chicago somewhere, yeah. Uh, her coming out of the back going, we're all out of paper. You'd be like, is that Joan <laughs> Cusack? Come yeah. on. I could see Hamilton there for four hundred dollars instead of seven hundred dollars here. That's a deal. It'll be in February too. Well, oh, Mike, yeah. Mike is going to be uh, Zanies in Chicago coming up February sixteenth and seventeenth. Get your tickets. Visit Mike Lawrence Comedy dot com, Mike Lawrence Comedy dot com, and follow him at the Mike Lawrence on Twitter. Uh, Dan Soder again going to be at Helium Comedy Club. Philadelphia, uh, Thursday, December 29th through New Year's Eve. Make sure you check that out. Get your tickets at heliumcomedy.com or for all his dates, also go to dansoder.com. And uh, you can check out Big J in San Diego, the 29th through the 31st of this month at American Comedy Company. And then he's going to be in San Francisco at the Punchline, the 5th through the 7th of January. Go get tickets at bigjcomedy.com. We'll be right back. Mike Lawrence, thanks for hanging out, buddy. We thanks, love guys. you, Mike. Thank Good you luck guys. to your move in Los Angeles. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Monday in Nellyville, dog. Yeah. Big J. Okerson, Dan Soder. It's the Bonfire, Comedy Center Radio, Series XM 95. I will give you $100 right now, Jacob, if you slap your pepperoni nips against that glass. Oh, put them up, put them up, put them up. <laughs> you won't do it. You want to show your nips to Ben? But then point right to Ben and be like, no, no, My worst for you. Asset. Your nips? My worst thing. Feed your nips are fantastic. No, they're puffy. We had Just this conversation. I know, but you're being insane. I respect oh. I respect Nelly because he's a very forward rapper. He really only raps what exactly what he's talking. He means what he says. I know his voice sounds like the clothes I want to wear. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how to describe it. But I'm humble in real life, taking nothing for how much money is he? He's left? Black Fred Durst. <laughs> you guys are all about Deb today. I see. I might, my seat's not really. I can't check out Deb. And if I look back, I always end up catching eyes with Ben, and he has that kind of like the fuck you looking at. I don't want to get into a fight with a golf a trainer. Uh, dude, <laughs> fuck you, Jack. Ben. Yeah, dude, he's got guns. Yeah, he's Jack, big dude. Yeah. Am. Number one. He's got 60 million? It's fucking great. I don't know who would win in a fight, but I'll tell you who would win in a kip-up contest. You, Jakob. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> we watched some of the Madonna Rebel like Heart that. Tour yesterday. It was on Showtime. Me and Christine watched a little bit of it. A lot of kip-ups in that show. She does kip-ups? No. <laughs> she does not do kip-ups. She oh. also comes out and does all of her songs in the shittiest of ways. I'd be very upset by a Madonna concert. Went to see... On Saturday, Billy Joel yeah. made me so happy. Madison Square Garden. Oh, so great. That's his backyard. He's got a it monthly. so great. Doesn't he have a monthly show there? Yes, he does. I, mean, I think I'm going to get my uh, mom and step-pop tickets for April. Good dude. I'm, uh, it's going to be. It's so. He does everything. Two songs I could think of that I would have heard, would like to hear and I didn't hear. Tip. But I mean, like, those are ones that you'd be like, you don't got to hear that one. And he did a few that you'd be like. Oh, yeah. Those are Joel classics. That's right. That's a Joel classic. You're not a Joel guy, I feel like, Lou, are you? I'm a... Are yeah, you? Shit, yeah. Oh, okay. I I'm thought not. you were going to say some I'm Springsteen not. shit. Andy and I are on the other side. I really... Even at Bonnaroo, you're like, how excited did you see Billy Joel? I was like, mm, they played one of his songs at my dad's funeral. That was kind of cool. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. That's what I was thinking. What song did they play at his funeral? Good Day. Allentown? <laughs> <laughs> they played only the good die young at your dad's funeral? Yeah, that was kind that of That is weird. fucking white garbage of anything ever, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, when I die, Christine, can you have him play Cowboy by Kid Rock? Am I <laughs> Cowboy? Cowboy. Well, I'm packing up my thing and I'ma head out west with women with big old titties and fake breasts. <laughs> That's what that's what breaks Isabella open. I'm a penis town red and paint his wife white. Oh, my my wife my wife at the time's like, Dan, what is this? I'm like, shut up, you're out of this. And what is we want? And I'm air guitaring it. I go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Can we, is there a way I can put in some kind of an order? You can do this as an adult, as an adult right? I can make some request at my funeral. They play Cowboy by Kid Rock. That will happen. Uh, with a bottle of scotch and watch lots of crotch. Oh, and rock that bitch up and down the coast. I always, uh, I always wanted my first dance at my wedding to be Biggie's Me and My Bitch. It's a good one. Just but I'll be dead before you get married, so let's make sure we get this done. <laughs> okay. We'll put the... With all the right... With. Set up shop at the top of Four Seasons. Kid Big Rock chain. Is the real, real McCoy. Yeah, I'm crying. Because <laughs> I want to look at Cowboy. I miss him. Hey, God. You got one more cowboy on your ranch up in heaven. I hope you got Jack and lots of big tits. <laughs> Hey, God, pop the Boone's wine. Daddy's coming home. Oh, please have a black hat. I can smell a bitch from a mile away. Oh, I hope the whistle blowing when my train rolls in. Play the first line of me and my bitch from, from Notorious B.I.G. Oh, suck on your daddy's dad. Yeah, yeah, just point at your father-in-law. <laughs> yeah. As you're so dancing. Good. I suck on your daddy's dick. I just remember listening. Yeah, here it is. Oh. oh. Let me ask you, you know, a question. Would you kill for me? What kind of question is that? Oh. Yeah. The act of making love. Oh. Oh. Wait, pause this for one right second. Here. here it is, right here. When I met you, I admit my first thoughts was a trick. You look so good, huh? I suck on your daddy's dick. I never felt that way in my uh, life. Am I right, Get Mr. Reynolds? Can I, can I make a recommendation? Yes. Can you do the live one? Do you have a, there's a live one? It's so much better. Excuse me? Yeah. Well, it's great. You hear P. Diddy in the background. That'd be great. No, this, this is not. This is Jerry Lewis's theme song. <laughs> hey, kids, who wants to go to the showers? Oh. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? It's Don Kid. What's it's up? It's Philly, this motherfucker. Oh. Woo. Oh. Oh. Hey, what? When I met you, I didn't live my first thoughts with the trick. Hands in the air, so good. I suck on the daddy's dick. I never felt that way in my life. That's right. I didn't take long before I met you, my wife. Uh huh. Got no races, yeah. you just my main squeeze. Coming to the crib, be the last. Do you damn for the first time in public? Welcome, Mr. and Mrs. Daniel. Don't call him Danny. Soda! Oh, I'm gonna be sucking being some of that bitch. daddy dick later. Oh, oh, oh. just me and my bitch. Oh. All the girls with the real hair. Oh. Why should you do all that shit? All the girls with the real hair, bitches, I let me hear you say, ow. Say hell yeah. I, I really oh, hope, boy. I really hope we influence someone's wedding. I love you, Dan Soder. I love you too, Big J. I always love doing radio with you. And if you love Dan as much as I do, or even one-eighth of that, you can yeah. go check him out at Helium. True. New Year's Eve weekend, Thursday the 29th of December through New Year's Eve, Saturday the 31st. Get your tickets, dansoder.com. I, I, I always forget, I forgot to tell Christine to put up uh, January 6th and 7th at Gotham Comic Club here in New York. So Fuck you can, yeah, dude, really? Yeah, it's going to be fun. That's awesome. How many shows? Five. Sick. Friday and Saturday. And then go check out Big J Okerson in California. The California way. Doing the Cali run. He's going to be at the American Comedy Company in San Diego, December 29th through New Year's Eve, December 31st. Then you can catch him 
at one of the greatest comedy clubs. Well, actually, the American Comedy Company is one of the greatest comedy clubs, too. But also, the Punchline in San Francisco was just there. Fucking blast. I love it. January 5th through the 7th, Big J is going to be there. So make sure... Mike Fennoy will be there with Mike me. Also. He's going to be on Dean the Mike Del Rey will be with me in American Comedy Company. So two people have all been on the show together. That's going to be great. Go get tickets. Uh, Mike Fennoy and San Francisco. Sorry. Get tickets to Big J. No, don't be sorry. Don't ever be sorry. BigJComedy.com to get tickets to the Punchline in San Francisco and American Comedy Company in San Diego. We will be back on Wednesday. Let's not forget also Mike Lawrence again. Going to be a Zanies in Chicago coming up February 16th and 17th. For tickets, visit MikeLawrenceComedy.com and follow him at the Mike Lawrence on Twitter. Christmas uh, episode on Wednesday, buddy. No cursing, no sex. Is that, oh, yeah, so that's our thing now, right? Yep. No cursing, no sex. No cursing, no sex. I I to bring in, I'm going to bring you in a present. I got to bring you in what I'm going to get you because what I got you isn't here yet. It's fine. It's on back order. It's like a royal phone. I love you so much. I love you more. Jakob, Lou, Merkface, Christine. Christine. Love you guys. Catch y'all, motherfuckers, on Wednesday. It's the bonfire. <laughs>